first floor, tech news. A new ruling by a French court has declared that Steam does not sell subscriptions to its users like a Netflix for games, but instead sells licenses. And consumers should have the right to do what they want with their purchases, including reselling their digital goods. The consumer rights group, UFCK Choiseur, French stuff. They've been locked in a legal battle with Valve Corporation for years, and now they say that they plan to challenge other digital markets and platforms who follow the same business model. As part of the ruling, Steam now has to reimburse users any remaining currency in their Steam wallet if the user's account is closed, rather than just pocketing that paper like they currently do. Valve has appealed the ruling, but if it goes through, there could be a seismic shift in the way digital games are distributed and redistributed. Maybe you digital guys could give little GameStop a helping hand, huh? Think of the little guy. Huawei unveiled its flagship Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro smartphones in Munich yesterday, confirming that due to the Trump administration's executive order banning US companies from doing business with Huawei, the devices do not come with any Google apps. No Google Maps, no Google Chrome, and most importantly, no Google Play Store. Uh, you lost me at Google Maps. I, I refuse. There's no other maps if I don't have my maps. Instead, Mate 30 users will have to surf the web through the Huawei browser and download apps through the Huawei app gallery, which apparently has around 45,000 apps compared to the Play Store's estimated 2.7 million. The Mate 30 phones will instead be powered by open source Android running Huawei's EMUI 10, their user interface that approximates Google's Android 10. This means that Huawei will only be able to bring security updates to the Mate 30 phones when those updates hit open source Android. But they've never been the fastest to roll out security updates anyway, so that part will probably won't be very different. You see, you, Colton, you set the bar low. And you just... No one's ever disappointed. Exactly, that's my life. <laughs> As if Amazon wasn't controlling enough sectors of the world, Alexa users will soon be able to donate money to the 2020 US presidential candidates through a new feature called Alexa Political Contributions. Candidates themselves have to sign up to the system to be eligible and must have a whole host of US-based documentation such as bank accounts and addresses to prevent, you know, sending money to a pirate. Ahoy, Colton. <laughs> Once activated in your Alexa purchasing settings, Alexa users can donate between a minimum of $5 and a maximum of $200 through Amazon Pay to their chosen candidate by simply saying, Alexa, Donate to Andrew, Andrew Yang. <laughs> Everyone's gonna donate now, oh crap. And then you'll receive a receipt as a, a token of that person's gratitude, Auto automated gratitude. Now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by somebody that Riley's gonna tell you about. Take it away, Riley. Now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of classes covering all kinds of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or career, it's the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. A premium Skillshare membership gives you unlimited access to the entire library, so you can join the classes that are just right for you. Are you into video? Then check out filmmaker Ryan Booth's class on cinematography to make your videos look like capital F films. Over 20,000 students have taken his class. Now Skillshare is already affordable with an annual subscription costing less than 10 bucks a month, but because they're sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link below and get a two month free trial. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> so do that. Thanks Riles. For a limited time only, Epic Games is giving away six Batman games for PC for free. This bundle includes the Arkham Collection, we don't speak about Arkham Origins here, and the Lego Batman Trilogy, which all together have a combined value of $120. So roll up, roll up, get them while they're hot. Uh, the script was written by a British person, so I don't know how to sing that song. This is likely a partnership deal coinciding with the Batman Fortnite crossover that was officially teased on Fortnite's Twitter page earlier today. And holy cow, Batman, I just hope we get to drive the Batmobile around and just machine gun dudes, like in Batman vs. Superman. That would be sweet. That would be sweet. Just make a Batmobile. Is there a way to teabag a corpse in a vehicle? Doing a donut over them or something? It's like, I don't think so. Okay, we gotta stop. Disney Plus doesn't launch until November, but thanks to Just Watch, you can already browse the streaming service's 621 different movies and shows, and plan out your re-watching of classics from Fantasia to Frozen before Disney remakes them all and ruins your childhood. 
again, after all. It's a circle! No. Are you even here? I don't know anything about Disney. <laughs> I didn't have a childhood. <laughs> I thought you still were a child. Just Watch's database doesn't currently include upcoming releases such as Star Wars The Mandalorian, but Disney's saying that it expects to spend over one billion dollars on original content in the first year and then up to two and a half billion by 2024. So you might want to start counting your pennies, kids. And if you're an adult, start planning your, your sick days off work. I mean, plan your allotted vacation days. And if you're a kid with a job, call the police. Google's sister company, Wing, is teaming up with FedEx, Walgreens, and Sugar Magnolia, whatever that is, to deliver food and healthcare products directly to your house within minutes via autonomous drones from the sky. And if you're in Christiansburg, Virginia, um, good for you, uh, but you might be able to <laughs> sign up. Sign up now and never leave your couch again. Speaking of the future, Google and Amazon have recently announced plans to commit to renewable green energy sources in wake of the demonstrations happening around the world today. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos outlined Amazon's promise of being a carbon neutral company by 2040 and claims that 100,000 electric delivery vehicles have been ordered to reduce fuel consumption. While Google says its purchase of a 1600 megawatt package of renewable energy deals is the biggest corporate purchase of renewable energy in history. That's a lot of solar panels. What are you good for, Cole? I'm not much. I just walked in. I just got my lunch. All right, you're off the hook. That's it for the news today. Come back on Monday. Oh, Colton, please leave. Leave.